Oh man, it sucks I have to make this video. But in all honesty, if I'm being transparent, I guess I kind of have to talk about this and I gotta make this video. So uh, let's jump right into things. All right, what's up guys? So welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to the vlog. If you guys are new here, my name is Jeffrey. I do videos on my 2017 Dodge Challenger RT alongside the project vehicle on the channel, which is a 2005 Jeep Grand Cherokee WK, which is the new build for the channel. And just like in today's video, looks like we're gonna be spending a lot more money in it than I really wanted to do, at least right now. And also we do videos on the Jeep Compass, which is over there, which is my fiance's vehicle. Sometimes we do videos on that, but mostly we do stuff on the Dodge Challenger. So let's jump right into things. So if you're new here, like I just said, I have a 2005 Jeep Grand Cherokee. I was planning on doing a whole bunch more stuff to this vehicle. Um, it's gonna really use that vehicle as the winter vehicle and project vehicle of the channel to go alongside the Dodge Challenger. Now I just bought this vehicle probably about a couple months ago. I wanna say like two, maybe three months ago, I just bought this vehicle. When I bought the vehicle, it was perfectly fine. Um, no issues with it at all. I bought the vehicle for actually 2,100 bucks. So, you know, and it had a lot of stuff already done to it. It was already had a lift kit, where it had this blacked out uh, spray paint paint job to it, um, and it already had the bigger wheels on it. So I only bought the vehicle for 2,100 bucks because it did have some problems, which most of the problems I was able to address, like the air conditioning unit, the window uh, switch, and uh, yeah, it needed like an O2 sensor, small little things like that. But a unexpected issue has come up with it. And that problem is the transmission. Now, let me tell you guys what's been going on. So, like in my last previous video when I was talking about this, the transmission when I first got the vehicle, it was totally fine. It was shifting great, it was driving great, had no issues at all. There's no check engine lights on for the transmission at all. And then out of nowhere, it started shifting harder and harder. My first initial thought was, oh, maybe the fluid just needs to be changed. Maybe it's leaking out fluid, maybe there's not enough fluid in it. I was gonna change the fluid myself and just do that, make it a video, and now it's gonna be it. Change the fluid, maybe do the filter, and just call it a day. The more and more I started to investigate, the more and more I was starting to find out that it looks like this problem came up beforehand. When I was looking underneath the vehicle, I can tell that there was a brand new gasket put on for the transmission, and it looks like the Torx, the Torx screws were taken off just recently. And when I looked at the fluid, it was at a perfect level, and it looked like the fluid was brand spanking new. So it looks like the person before me, they did service the transmission at least recently. So that made me believe that this problem was going on beforehand and they tried to fix it themselves. The thing is with these Jeep Grand Cherokees, if you have to be very specific with the transmission fluid, if you don't use the right fluid, you can mess it up. So I was thinking maybe they used the wrong fluid. Maybe something else is going on. Maybe there's some type of diagnostic code that I can't read. Like I need to take it to like a dealership and they can read it for me. So. Off camera, I took it to a dealership to see if they could read any codes on it. There was no check engine lights, no codes coming up for the transmission at all. Um, so that made me believe like, okay, so it's not electrical, it's probably mechanical. I take it to a local shop here, which is pretty good. And they've honestly, they've, they've been great with me. They've, they've really taken their time and diagnosed everything and really like taken their time with it. So this is what they've done. They've looked at the transmission, they took the pan off and they basically told me like, yeah, it's pretty much shot. Um, it looks like when they took the pan off, there's metal shavings all inside the transmission. Uh, so it, it looks like the previous owner, someone at some point in time, maybe was shifting hard before and they tried to fix it. They tried to change the fluids and tried to change the filter. And it looks like that maybe had band-aided it for long enough for me when I bought it, drove it around and it kind of just broke on me. And I do understand that. You know, that's, that's the risk you take when you buy a used vehicle. Luckily, I only bought it for 2,100 bucks, so I'm not in it terribly that much money um, but comparable vehicles like just a normal stock Jeep Grand Cherokee probably with like even more miles than what I have the Jeep that I have it only has like 113,000 miles on it I've seen some for uh, when they have like 150 160,000 miles on them going from like the V6 and also the the 4.7 liter V8 I've seen them go between like four Five, and some like really good examples up to six thousand dollars and that's just what that's just for a stock one with nothing else done this jeep ranker that i have already has a lift kit and the bigger uh tires on them so and plus it has the nice paint job that's already done to it and 
I, I'm really liking the way that it looks, especially because this vehicle does not have that much rust on it at all. With that being said, I was looking at comparable vehicles. So when, they, when they told me the transmission is basically shot, my first initial thought was, well, let me hold, like, hold up for a second. Let me look around. Let me see if there's anything else else out there. So I bought the vehicle for 2100 bucks. I didn't really want to put any more money into it at this point in time. I'm saying, I just told them, let me look around. Let me see what else is out there. Let me survey the land. Maybe I can find another vehicle that's cheaper or something else that will be better. If I can find an another Jeep, I'll just transfer the lift kit and the tires over to that one. We'll call it a day. So I went and looked around in my local Facebook Marketplace Craigslist a couple of days and everything that I'm seeing is a lot more expensive. It's all like, like I said, they're in like the four to five, a good example, $6,000 range, especially in my area. I live in the Buffalo, New York area where good winter vehicles come at a premium, especially now that it is the end of September and uh, a lot of people, this is what they want. They want to find a winter vehicle and that's kind of what you go for. So with that in mind, I was kind of thinking like, well, I can't really sell my vehicle in the state that it's in. It's pretty much a paperweight at this point if the transmission is pretty much shot. And if I want to buy another winter vehicle, because I don't really, I did drive my uh, Dodge Challenger last winter, put snow tires on it, honestly, it was fine. But this year, I don't really want to do that. And plus, I've been really wanting to get back inside of a Jeep. Before I had the Dodge Challenger, I had a Jeep Wrangler, loved it. I just love Jeeps. I don't know, something about me. I love Jeeps, and I wanted another one. And I really think that I found a good vehicle in this one. I really like the way that it looks and the way that it feels, the way that it drives. So, I don't know, I guess maybe I got too attached to it in the short amount of time that I've owned it. So I said, screw it. Let's go ahead, let's rebuild the transmission. So, looks like that's what I'm gonna be doing. I'm gonna be rebuilding the transmission on this Jeep Grand Cherokee. Now the shop that I took it to, they're really professional and they're pretty good. They said that they can rebuild the, the they can take out the trans, rebuild the, the trans, put it back in, and it comes with it for a three year warranty. That comes in at the price range of about $2,050. Now I did call around to some other shops and a lot of other shops, even for just to, even for them just to do a transmission, they're they're asking a lot more than that, like 2,500 bucks. I also did think about putting in a junkyard transmission inside of there. And yes, it would save me probably a couple hundred bucks, but it wouldn't come up with a three year warranty. Now, my initial thought is though, if I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna keep this vehicle for a long time, which I plan on doing. Honestly, I plan on buying this vehicle, keeping it for the next couple of years, um, and really, you know, just enjoying it. Because honestly, I had the shop take a look at it as well. They looked at everything else, all the other components. And they said that honestly, that's like the only major thing. You know, the engine itself has good compression. Uh, all the lines, you know, it's not that rusty at all. Um, the engine's really strong. Uh, the rear end's pretty good. The front end's pretty good. There's no def wobble, anything like that. It won't need brakes, which I do knew, I did know that, which I am gonna do, but I'm gonna do that myself. Save a lot of money doing that myself. And just doing the transmission, they said that they can do. Or oh, alongside some, some O2 sensors, which I tried to do, but I could not get them out myself. They said that they can do that, and I'm gonna have them do that all at the same time. So I know, you're probably thinking, why would you put that much money into the vehicle when you only bought it for 2100 bucks? You're basically putting in more money than what you bought the vehicle for. Man, you're right. I am doing that. Is it the smart decision ever? Probably not. But the good thing is though, like I said, I can't sell the vehicle in the state it's in right now. Let's say it's gonna come out, come out to be about 2,500 bucks for them to put into the vehicle. Bought it for 21, so I'm in it for 4,600 bucks. And like I said, I've been looking around for just stock Jeep Grand Cherokees, nothing extra done to it. People are asking between four to five, and for a really good example, $6,000. Now, my thing is though, I don't plan on selling my vehicle. I plan on using it. So if you're gonna use the vehicle, if you wanna go ahead and get it fixed, I would get it fixed, why not? If it's paid off and it has no other issues, why not get it fixed, drive it for the next couple of years? But the other part of my brain is thinking, if down the line, if I do wanna sell it, because I do know that the vehicle, it looks cool. Other people have seen it, like, and just in my short amount of time of me owning it, I've had people actually say like, wow, that looks really cool. You know, people who have actually asked me about it. If I did wanna sell it down the line, I would take probably a loss but I will at least be able to, to recoup some of the value that I put back into the vehicle. Cause I definitely know for sure I'm driving it this winter and I don't see myself selling it anytime soon. But if I do, at least I would have that option to at least get some money out of it if I really needed to. Cause in the state it's in right now, no one really wanted it. They would just, it would just be a junk, you know, Jeep. I would, I could probably part it out. With that being said, 
it sucks. You don't want to spend that much money on a vehicle that, you know, just on stuff like that, on maintenance things, when I was really planning on spending that type of money on doing more stuff to improve the vehicle, like doing a rear tire um, carrier and doing some other stuff, doing some body armor and doing some other minor stuff to really make it really nice for the winter time. Because like I said, I'm gonna be driving that vehicle all winter long. I wanna make sure that vehicle is completely straight. I wanted to put in, you know, a, a car, seat heaters um, which honestly i was gonna do that and like actually put it in the seat but now i might go the cheap route and just do some like plug-in ones you just plug into like a cigarette lighter because i want this vehicle to be comfortable for the winter but um you know so that was pretty much the budget that i had for doing all the stuff i was gonna do like all the extra stuff to the jeep right now i'm gonna get the transmission fixed but i think it'll be worth it in the long run because i truly believe that this vehicle will help my channel grow because it's something unique and something pretty cool and just like when I did with the Jeep Wrangler, I really want to make it my own. And just like I'm doing to my Dodge Challenger, I'm going to make this Jeep my own. I really think it's part of the family right now. So uh, yeah, I just, I wouldn't feel right just dumping it uh, or just like selling it. Like I did with the Mustang. I only owned that for a couple months and then I sold that, but I made a profit on that. But honestly, this Jeep, I really like it. And I think I want to keep it for a really long time. But yeah, guys, it looks like I better end this video because we are running out of daylight. And it's, it's crazy. It's it's only, it's like 721 right now and we're running out of daylight. So let me wrap things up. But thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Check out my channel. I've done a ton of videos on my Jeep Grand Cherokee WK. I have a playlist on my channel jeep grand cherokee wk build also have a playlist for the dodge challenger and also have a playlist for the jeep wrangler as well on my uh channel so check that out uh go to go to my instagram omega Garit, same name as youtube channel follow me there go to the website geekswithcars.com subscribe for more and like that i'm out of here and uh yeah in the next couple videos you're gonna see all the stuff that's gonna be coming up with the jeep and uh yeah i'm excited man be excited there's something different something kind of cool and uh, if you guys are out there and you're you, if you have a jeep you know grand cherokee maybe this type of stuff will be useful for you guys so check it out all right i'm out of here peace